Hi guys, I hope you're very well indeed. Uh, so I'm back in action. Look, I'm looking back to normal. I have a few things you can see, but it's mostly underneath my hair, the shingles. But I am not contagious anymore, which is always a good thing. Um, so I sent out an email on Monday um, called Mind Over Matter. Read it. And you must have been thinking, those of you that have read it, what I was talking about uh, when I was saying that I was talking to my cells and things like that to get better and to lose weight. And I wanted to share a story with you um, that's helping me. So I love the Gabriel Method and through the Gabriel Method I came across some research and I like the idea that we have trillions and trillions of cells in our body, living and breathing cells. And the idea that each of these cells have um, a consciousness. Now, we don't sit here and go, please grow, please change, please digest my food, please remember to breathe. We don't have to do any of that because our cells are thinking for themselves and they're doing the job that they're meant to do now we don't um, have to consciously think about doing these things and the whole aim of the body and is to survive so these cells are only built for one thing and that's for survival and yes they have a consciousness but they are heavily influenced by us you see and our feelings and our emotions and they are receiving messages from us all the time just like the body is giving us messages all the time, only we ignore them half the time. So how many times have you skipped a meal even though you're hungry? How many times have you stayed up late even though you're tired? You know, so the body is sending us messages all the time and we ignore them and and just like that, we're sending messages to the our own cells all the time. So the cells are often getting mixed messages because of stress because of emotion even boredom so i want you to think about your inner dialogue are you you know having a wonderful talk to yourself are you complimenting yourself are you speaking favorably about yourself often this isn't the case often we are our own worst critics and so if you're always telling yourself you're fat and you're always telling yourself you're saggy or you're always telling yourself you're terrible, then the cells will be influenced by that and you're only going to get fatter, saggier and more terrible. <laughs> so they don't understand the message, you see, and they're built to protect you. And often the only way cells know how to protect a body is to lay down fat it's a protection mechanism so as long as you are talking terribly to yourself or even other people are talking terribly to you then you're going to have issues getting the body that you want so i want you to address this in the email i put the little video that i love so much of dr immortal's water experiment this is where he took water from all around the world different parts of the world everything from tap water to salt water fresh water and over some of the water he prayed and blessed and played Bach's music and John Lennon's Imagine to the water. And then other samples, he swore at the water and he played Hitler's speech to the water and basically abused the water. And then he froze all the samples. Uh, the samples that had been loved and nurtured and, and prayed over were like little snowflakes. They looked gorgeous and pretty. And the... Um, samples that had been abused were black and distorted check it out it's an experiment that's been going on for many years now and other scientists have picked it up and it is it's quite remarkable but Dr Emoto also finishes by saying we are made up of 70% water so this idea that sticks and stones may break our bones but words will never hurt me is a lie. He's saying that we can affect other people and we can affect ourselves on a cellular level. And this kind of blew my mind, you know. So in the email I talked about speaking to myself. 
really we want the body and ourselves and the brain we want to be on the same page and often we're not on the same page so getting on the same page is all about connecting and reconnecting with your body they often suggest just before sleep or just before you get up after you wake up you should have a moment deep breathe or if you meditate during meditation is a really good time to do this to reconnect and to bless yourselves you know your cells in your body tell the body how great it's doing it, your heart beats every day for you without it, you telling it your muscles your bones everything works for you so hard every day of your life without you telling it to you should be thankful and grateful and really appreciate the body that you have and then after you've finished giving yourself a little bit of self appreciation and self love you should then say but I'd really like your cooperation and it's not so much that you've gone mad that you're talking to yourself internally. I mean, who's there to hear you? Try it out. Um, but the idea is you're sending the information to all those cells and you're sending a very specific bit of information. So you're saying you're doing a great job, but release that fat. I don't really need it. Honest to God, I don't need it. Release it. Um, and also, you know, you can be saying, I really want to get better quicker, right? So they told me that shingles lasts, can last up to five weeks. Um, and I was really worried about being contagious to other people. So that's why I didn't really work last week. Um, so I really want to speak to you about this because I thought I'm not eating great because I'm not feeling great. And, and Duffy was working and I was having to just live on like stuff that I wouldn't normally live on because I, I didn't have the energy I was a bit poorly um, I did no exercise last week whatsoever so I thought I have time usually I eat very very nutritiously and I exercise every day all day yeah so this was a big change to my body and I thought well I'm bound to put weight on aren't I if I'm not eating perfectly and I'm not exercising I'm bound to gain weight so I thought what do I have this week that I don't usually have I have time so I use that time to connect with my body to speak to my cells I thought I don't care if people think I'm mad who am I impressing nobody really it's only me that knows about it and you now <laughs> Um, so I decided I was going to meditate before bed and I was going to meditate in the morning uh, in a bid to A, make me feel better, but B, I wanted to reconnect again with the body. So I was saying to myself, you know, thank you so much for working so hard. Um, I appreciate it, but I'm really wanting to release some fat. I'm wanting to feel better from the shingles. I'm wanting to really... Uh, reconnect again with the body I want to release fat tone up you know I was sending that information to the cells whereas normally I'd be running around like a lunatic all the information that I would be sending would be stress and chaos and and mayhem and overload and everything else that goes along with modern day life so I was highly surprised when I stepped on the scales on Monday morning uh, having not eaten great for a week not exercised at all and just spoken to myself and I'm three pounds down pause for dramatic effect <laughs> so I really wanted um, to put that out there hey why don't you have a little experiment what I really want you to do is I want you to stop berating yourself. I want you to stop criticizing yourself. I want you to change your inner dialogue. I want you to start appreciating that body that you have. I always use babies as a like a little example. Babies love every inch of their bodies. You'll find them chewing their toes and exploring every crevice of their bodies. They love their bodies. They don't reprimand themselves. They don't criticize themselves. Yet they change at an incredible rate. 
And I truly believe that in order to change, you have to accept where you are right now. And I think showing yourself a little bit of love and compassion goes a long, long way. And even Elvis the lovebird agrees with me, as you can hear him tweeting away. So I want you to uh, read that email, uh, check out Dr. Emoto's water experiment. I want you to have a look at the little audio that I put in there the, um, on the YouTube videos and stuff like that. And I want you to address your inner monologue. Is it positive or negative? Every athlete going in for the Olympics, bodybuilders that I've worked with, boxers, dancers, all of them work on this as well as the body. Yeah? The inner monologue is very important. It's important to them them because it it really defines whether they're going to win or whether they're going to whether they're going to lose. And it really defines whether we're going to change or whether we're going to stay the same. So if you're looking for change, we have to change here first in order to change here. So, hey, it's going to absolutely cost you nothing to give this a go. Uh, so give it a go this week and see how you feel. If anything, it will give you a bit of happiness and a bit of peace of mind. And that's a good thing too. So I will speak to you very, very soon. I hope you're very well this fine Tuesday. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.